What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I want to talk to you guys about the Thunderdome. Now last Monday was the last ever show that we are going to see in the WWE Thunderdome, which is quite sad, but then again you look at the alternative Crowds are coming back tomorrow. We've got full WWE live crowds again, and I cannot wait. But with the Thunderdome finally being retired, I thought it's a time for me to look back and say thank you, pay tribute to what we had. Because compared to the start of the pandemic, where it was just the performance center, it didn't feel like WWE. And then, you know, around August time, when they finally introduced the Thunderdome, it felt like we had WWE back again. Now, don't get me wrong, it wasn't going to be the same without fans. That was ne that was never an option. The Thunderdome was never there to replace the fans. But it was a fantastic alternative, f considering fans couldn't be there. Now, I was actually in the Thunderdome about seven times, but I only count five of them appearances. Two of them went drastically wrong. I was in there for a SmackDown and a Survivor Series pay-per-view and they both went wrong, so I don't count them. So in total, I was in there for two Smackdowns, two Raws, and one pay-per-view, which was Hell in a Cell 2020, the night Randy Orton won back the WWE Championship from Drew McIntyre. And I was very, very fortunate as I was front row, or if not front row, I was on hard camera for the vast majority of those shows. I have an in-depth video, which you can watch. Link is in the description about my actual experience in the Thunderdome, where I go in depth, I talk about it all. You can watch it in the link in the description. But my Thunderdome experience was very pleasant. And it was one of them things where I hadn't actually been to a WWE show in 10 years. I'm going to my first WWE live show again in September. But I've always wanted to. And, you know, I I'm not from the richest background. I'm, I'm not a family. I'm not a person where I can turn around and be like, yeah, I'm going to WWE every single year. That was never an option for me. So when I realized that I could be part of that WWE experience, I could be on WWE TV for absolutely free. All I have to do is react and be involved in the show. I saw it as a golden opportunity and I took it. I took it. There was a good month probably late October to early November, maybe even, no, it was about two months, October, November last year, pretty much all, as much as I can, I was in the Thunderdome because I wanted to be on WWE TV. I wanted to experience that. And I wanted to make these custom plaques, which obviously I've got a video making them as well. You can click the link in the description. But these custom plaques, they're for SmackDown on the 23rd of October, SmackDown on the 20th of November, Hell in a Cell on the 25th of October, Raw on the 9th of November, and Raw on the 16th of November. They are my experience in the Thunderdome. I took a collage and I, I you know, I collaged loads of photos of me, put them there. And it's like, you know, a lot of fans have ticket stubs. They, they keep their tickets with a photo, they frame them. That's what they do when they go to live shows. Shows. Obviously, I couldn't do that, so I did the next best thing, and I think it's really cool. It looks really good. So, the Thunderdome was something for fans where we could be involved without having to pay anything. All we had to do was sit there and watch and enjoy the show. But it wasn't just for the fans, no. The Thunderdome was for the wrestlers as well. Now, guys, the wrestlers, you know, the tail end of the Performance Center times, there was performance center enhancement talent that were there to cheer on and you know to boo and react and be a crowd but it, there were so few of them it just it didn't feel like a crowd and they were still in the performance center it wasn't a proper arena it was like an indie show setup so when WWE decided to move to the Thunderdome, I feel it was for the wrestlers as well. It wasn't just for the fans. It was for the wrestlers to experience being on that big stage again, having that pyro again, having that massive crowd. Despite it being virtually, it was still there. Having the piped in audio. Now in the Thunderdome arena, the wrestlers can hear. They can hear the cheering. They can hear the booing. It's all piped in. It's all fake crowd noise, obviously. But it still helps them. I, I can imagine it still helps them because they can hear stuff. Whereas in the performance center, it was just dead silence. So for the wrestlers too, I think it helped. Now, it was never gonna replace live fans. No way, no way. It was never gonna replace them. There's no feeling like a live crowd, but it was an awesome alternative. And they gave us so many fantastic moments during the Thunderdome era. We had 
Roman Reigns return at SummerSlam 2020. We had Drew McIntyre win his second WWE Championship on Raw. And we had The Undertaker's final farewell. If I could undo anything, it would be that one. Undertaker should have retired in front of a crowd. That would have been the best. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. It was still a huge moment. So the Thunderdome era is a absolutely historic era in WWE that in 20, 30 years time, we will look back on and be like, wow, that was a crazy time. It honestly was. It was historic. And guys, we have been fortunate enough to witness that history firsthand. So what did you guys think of the Thunderdome? I appreciate it. I'm so thankful that we had it. I'm so thankful I got the opportunity I did to be in it, to be on hard cam, to be front row. And uh, yeah, you know, I, I want to know what you guys thought about it. It's it's unfortunate that we're seeing it go, but at the same hand, you know, I'm like, is it unfortunate? You know, it, it's gone now. We've got live crowds again, and I cannot wait to see it. So WWE is back on the road as of tomorrow, Friday night SmackDown. Crowds are back. But once again, let me know your thoughts. What did you think of the Thunderdome in the comment section down below? I've been Joe from Joe's Thoughts Russian. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.